all of them had reported feeling ill and the, as was reported already, were seen by the medics, hopefully be able to determine whether or not it was some food or something else that, that caused it. Autopsies underway on three Americans who died at a Sandals resort in the Bahamas on Friday. Investigators are working to figure out what killed Michael and Robbie Phillips, as well as Vincent Chiarella. Chiarella's wife, Donis, remains hospitalized. Let's bring in Dr. Michael Bottom, forensics pathologist and Fox News contributor. Wonderful to have you here. Good to be here. Um, yeah. What do you think happened here? You, you heard what I the think commissioner said. The most likely cause of these kind of deaths and illness is carbon monoxide. Uh, carbon monoxide is odorless, colorless, doesn't cause many symptoms except vo uh, vomiting and not feeling well. There's carbon monoxide getting into those apartments, maybe through some construction work that interfered with the heating or ventilation system. Comes in, they don't feel well, they go to the hospital. On the way to the hospital, air, 20% oxygen in the air, cures it. If we breathe in air, it gets rid of the carbon monoxide. So they go to the hospital, they seem to be okay. They come back and they're still okay for a little while, go to sleep, and while they're sleeping, mm -hmm. they, they, uh, Happens again. the oxygen level in the brain goes down because the carbon monoxide prevents oxygen. They get confused. That's why one of them winds up in the bathroom. I've seen this before. And a number of person doesn't feel well, thinks he has to go to the john, doesn't, and is confused bef uh, because of the low oxygen in the brain and then collapses in the bathroom, mm. uh, not knowing that he should open a window. If you open the window right. or walk it out helps. the door. Oh, that's great uh, advice. The son told ABC News, he said she couldn't move. Uh, her legs and arms are swollen and she couldn't move and she screamed to get someone to come in yeah. the door. That I, I, that's what the mom told him, apparently, but she was confused when this happened. She's lucky to be alive. She was confused. Swelling isn't really part of carbon monoxide, Poisoning, but if, uh, I can't think what would cause a swelling in a situation like that. I, I could see if maybe if, uh, if maybe if the room was near a garage, right? Well, that's but, uh, but it, commonly but, yes. That first thing you said there was that this can travel through regular air ducts. Yes, there'd be some. Usually, there's some defect, or somebody's doing construction work on the heating system, or and it'll it can travel, especially with ventilation, be brought. Created by the whatever is burning or heating goes through the uh, uh, ventilation ducts and it gets spread uh, in the room. Now it's in the room. The, it goes up. If the window is open, that's why some people uh, it, they're they're better shape. Uh, but they go out, breathe in 20% normal oxygen. The oxygen gets rid of the carbon monoxide. And the carbon monoxide, carbon monoxide kills by attaching to the red blood cells and preventing the red blood cells from picking up oxygen. And that causes brain problems and confusion and death if it's uh, long enough. Well, you, you make a good point about just remembering to check your uh, monitors at home. Yeah, the, sure the smoke working. detectors are, are invaluable yeah. in this. Uh, Bill brought up, uh, this is an old kind of thing, the, the, the uh, canary in the coal mine. The canaries in the coal mine would go down and they would pass out uh, from the carbon monoxide and the methane yeah. and the lack of oxygen yeah. before the humans. We've noticed. And, uh, well, we, we're sad for the families. I know that they're going oh, through yeah. a lot, and we appreciate you being on here today to help Thank us think you. through. Nice to see you. Good to see you guys Post again. COVID. Yes. Dr. Michael Bond. Well. Thank Thanks you so much. Good to see you. Okay. Really. Oh, right on. And, Thank you. If I Thank, you, Thank you, Thank you. Have a great day. Wish you a happy birthday. Oh, yes, happy please. Birthday. Happy birthday. You don't look a day older. Thank you. <laughs>